Hello, my most amazing art students. Today we're going to be drawing a rose window together. I'm just going to show you kind of the basics and you can take it from there. So I have this large number 10 lid for my can. You guys, I don't know what a if a plate, um, if you had a square piece of paper, a plate might fit on there. But um, go ahead and get yourself some circles and just trace around them because we're going to, I'm going to do the inside too just for the heck of it and then um, you can use coins and the, the thing to remember with this is that you want radial symmetry so radial symmetry means that no matter which direction that um, everything is coming is symmetrical from the center okay so we're going for how it how does how is this symmetrical from the center and I mean it doesn't have to be exact that's fine we're just kind of working out our own design here um, so I don't know if I can fit more let me get my coins out of my coin purse here can I fit three uh, nickels probably not not even three pennies so maybe what I'll do is do like two pennies and then do a nickel right there um, you guys see I like to just have fun and figure figure this stuff out I don't know I kind of like the idea of having the bigger circle next to that I gave you guys an idea coloring sheet and you're welcome to use that to um, create your um, design off of that or not it's up to you I probably should have used a dime you know what that's the nice thing about pencil is that you can erase it <laughs> um, so then you're just going to go ahead and do that all the way around put the same pattern so that if I divided this in every direction every quadrant would be symmetrical and if I folded it in fours they, those four parts would be symmetrical to one another. All right, so um, you can keep designing. I'm going to grab my ruler here, and I'm going to create some lines through the center part. It's not exact. It's totally fine. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and and maybe you do the lines first and then you can kind of set up your coins a little bit um, more symmetric or your circles or whatever you guys are tracing because because in um, a lot of gothic windows they have that natural stonework and then if you don't want this line to go through the center of you know your circles you can take it out all right, so I'm I'm gonna quickly go through and um, discuss with you how we're going to um, finish these. All right, so I think I want to use like these colors. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and once I'm done doing the whole design, I'm going to color in my shapes in whichever pattern or way that you want to okay um, and I actually am going to erase you want to erase any pencil lines that you don't want to be uh, underneath your marker before you color okay because if you do it after um, the pencil, or you won't be able to do it after actually, the pencil lines will trap um, those in there. The, co the colors in there we have. Maybe I'll do that. So, and no, I'm not really filling in the whole space um, because I'm going to go back in with a little bit of water and create a watercolor effect. Okay, let me show you that. Um, one more color. And you can create, um, 
put color around your circles like in this section say we wanted to go in with this color um, around your circles or add more circles that's you can add more designs into this get smaller and smaller or as detailed as you want to be that's up to you all right okay so now I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and some water that's all I have and just um, paint and you can even um, use the pigment that you've put down from the marker to, cr to paint the whole area you might have to lay down some more color it might not go all the way but it might we don't know there's a lot of pigment in those markers so there's one that's pretty cool and I'm going to uh, get a wipe so that I can dab my paintbrush off um, because the colors will tend to mix together if you touch the water so I think we've discussed that at length and what we're gonna do after after I paint this and you can do it before um, I just don't have my full design on here is go with a sharpie Oops, see how the colors are bleeding together probably not because of reflection there you go um, go through with the sharpie and sharpie all your pencil lines that you want to show up okay yeah definitely gonna have to color some more of that pink on over here because that one doesn't carry very well and then this guy and I like the effect of the colors bleeding in together somewhat if you want that to happen you just don't want to use too much water because it will get crazy um, it'll just become a big puddle of mixed colors and you won't have any definition um, to your design so you got to be careful with that all right and also if you're using colors opposite on the color wheel like this pink and green color when you mix those two colors a lot of times you'll get a brownish color so you got to be careful of that all right so um, try to show you that like that and then I'll go really quickly grab my sharpie um, and where it might be a little bit drier show you I do want to divide this area so probably best to go over it with your sharpie first not after don't do what mrs buck did all right do as i say not as i do much easier to uh create these lines before you paint or you could wait to until it's all the way dry okay it's up to you guys so go over all your pencil lines that you want to keep um including the circles and the straight lines okay thanks for joining me today i hope you guys have fun making your rose window design